Hello. It's time for another Tinramian project. What we'll be doing today is installing the OEM hitch onto a 2014 Honda Odyssey. We have it there. Um, why are we doing this? Really for the purposes of installing this bike carrier, which I will do a review on separately. It's important to note that we are doing this for the purposes of a bike carrier. So what does that mean? I am not going to hook up the electrical harness and I am not going to install the transmission cooler. If your purpose of installing a hitch is to tow a trailer, you need both of those. You need to uh, add the electrical harness to get your power to your trailer and you need the transmission cooler in order to make sure it doesn't overheat. Um, those are requirements. So again, um, this is only for a bike carrier, so I'm not going to install these. Um, this is the hitch. I really like it. Um, again, the difference between uh, sort of the original Honda part and some third party uh, is see that kind of a curve what that means is that most of this hitch will be hidden in the bumper. Um, what you see in a lot of third party hitches is uh, a bar on the bottom uh, all along. Um, this one is nice in that it, you see kind of a, a bump on the side and the hitch stick out, but most of it is hidden in the bumper. What that also means is that you have to cut the bumper to install this. And that's important. If you don't feel comfortable Take it, first of all, taking off the bumper and installing it, make sure you um, take it to a professional instead. But again, because we're not installing the transmission cooler and the harness, really the only thing we're going to do is take off the bumper, uh, attach the hitch to the body, uh, cut the correct shape out of the bumper, and then add it back on. All right, step one, take off the bumper. You'll see that I put masking tape on the edge of the bumper in the car. That's just so that you don't scratch either of those when you're taking it off and on. In order to take the bumper off, we got two hex screws over there. We got some clips underneath, as well as some screws in the wheel well. I have uh, some mart guards there, so I'll have to take those off. So that's really step one, is to unscrew all of those and to uh, pull the bumper off. Okay, so our bumper is off. It was fairly easy. Just those screws and clips, like I said. You pull it off starting on the one side. Got our hitch down there. One interesting thing that um, I didn't mention earlier, see there's a clip here for the bumper sensors, if you have those in, uh, in your car, uh, you have to unclip that because on the inside of the bumper, you see we have the sensors and, uh, and that cable, so, um, it's important that you disconnect it. Um, hitch bolted on. It was it's pretty heavy, so if you're doing this, get somebody to help you hold it. Uh, difficulties, I guess, the right-hand side here, the tailpipe, is a little bit in the way. What makes it worse is that there's this little rubber piece that holds it there and you have to take it off. That's a bit of a chore. Um, the screws are fairly long, so be patient with your ratchet. Um, once it's bolted on, which it is, now comes the part of molding the bumper. 
So here's the before picture of our um, bumper. There are four places to cut. In the middle, where the actual hitch sticks out. And the sides, where there's a bit of a bump. Uh, thankfully, the, the, the location is marked, so you don't have to guess. And I'm going to grab my trusty Dremel tool and make the cuts. So we've made our cuts. The one in the middle there is for the actual hitch that sticks out. We've got one on each side so that um, the, the side um, bar sticks out. So now we're flipping around and uh, and that little piece of garnish. I flipped the bumper around. This little piece of garnish here is what I meant. It goes on because the the hitch actually sticks out there. It's just a piece of plastic to make it look a little nicer. So I'm gonna drill some holes there and, and bolt that in. There we go. Garnish is on. So now with the holes in our bumper cut and the hitch attached. The final piece of the puzzle is to attach the bumper back in and we'll be done. And there we have it, fully installed. Sticks a bit on the left and the right and of course in the middle. But we have a fully assembled hitch. Not a, um, you know, extremely difficult project, but takes a bit of muscle. Well, hope you liked the video and uh, hope that gives you an idea of whether you can uh, do this yourself. Again, no electrical hookup on this, only for a bike rack. If you want an electrical hookup, you're going to need the electrical harness. Have a good day.